Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with the lovely Cameron. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. <laughs> we back. Um so I I noticed that some of you fuckers are down bad cuz my one Zosan video keeps going and it's almost at 300. <laughs> so you sad fucks have have you have bent my will I I I can't do it <laughs> so to rebuttal it I'm going to read more Zosan <laughs> I love how you just like you know you're trying to appease the people who have degrading kinks here, yeah. just calling them sad fuckers. They are, because I'm a sad fucker. I was about to say, aren't we a sad fuckers yeah. for reading it then? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, I am. It's not my fault. They're both beautiful, attractive men. Uh, I mean, to each their own, I suppose. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, there's people out there that are, like Robin. That's me! That's me! Step on me! Please! Can I get caught by Robin? Anyways, yep. before I get too excited... Uh. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, so, I found this beautiful fan fiction. Oh, enjoy the most immersive ad-free reading experience. Try premium. I like this book. <laughs> Not the ad. <laughs> oh, my fault. <laughs> my voice speaks your name. It is a Zosan book by Rachel Woods 2104. What's the mature? Mm, we're not I'm be, not mature. Yeah, we're not going to be very mature about this, I promise you. All right, the description reads, In seemingly easy start into the deep blue turns into a desperate attempt at saving a life. But amongst the battles a romance flourishes, unbeknownst to them, are the straw hat crew prepare for what awaits them read to find out flower <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer this is a zoro x sanji fan fiction which means it's yaoi if you don't like yaoi don't read it's simple as that no hate shall be discussed in the comments below i want a peaceful environment if you like my chapters comment your review below about what you liked and what you want more thank you i do not own the images of the film below all, all rights reserved <laughs> copyright yeah <laughs> all right well, I love how the the tags uh, Sara ex, Sanji Exoro and then immediately after it is Yaoi anime. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seems about right. Yeah. All right, you ready to read some Yaoi? <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah, let's go. Oh, this is cute. Can I zoom it? Nope. Can't zoom in. But that that's adorable. I like that. I don't know how to feel about any of this. <laughs> All right, chapter one. My heart trembles from your determination. Isn't that like a? Isn't the determination like a big thing in Undertale? <laughs> I don't know. I've never played that game. I don't know. I watch other people play, and they're like, "You, you saved, and you're full of determination." Was like every save file apparently. Hope you enjoy this chapter. The story is based off of One Piece. It's not oh, really? Mind. Warning, spoilers. Maybe showing the story as there are information of some characters that some people may not know about. If you haven't seen One Piece from SO16 onwards, I suggest you not read the story unless you want to spoil the plot line for One Piece. Don't say I didn't warn you. What's this one? Is that season 16? It, Saba it, Odi? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. If it's, se if it's season 16, then who says seasons in fucking anime yeah the only time well, you ever people say, say seasons but i don't think it works in one piece because you discuss the arcs yeah oh well that's uh, yeah i should have been more specific yeah i guess seasons in one piece yeah well i think they mean sub i don't know because well because i mean reading ahead in the beginning here they talk about uh the marine ford war yeah, so, so I, I'm past that point. I'm gonna dress Rosa. Yeah, because, like, Saba Odi is, like, way before that. Yeah. It's, like, 150 episodes or something before that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, so, right. sp so spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't gotten that far. Yeah, oops. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I guess we'll flip my, my little card I got here. Do you want to be the back that says Molly and Rex? Sure. Okay. Okay. 
Wait, did you not expect me to say yes? Well, I mean, I was going to give you two options, and you're like, yes. All right, I get to read first. Yeah, it's your turn. Is this why I always find stuff just sitting on the ground because you leave it after this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is my necklace thing from when I recorded with Kenzie. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Since the feat from two years ago by Kuma and the sudden Great War, Luffy had decided to change the date they were meant to meet back up from three days to two years. Luffy realized that he had become stronger for his friends, in which they, in return, became stronger for Luffy. When Ace had died... <laughs> yep, there's a spoiler right there. <laughs> yep. Luffy had thought his whole world come around him. Luckily, Jinbei reminded Luffy that he wasn't alone, in, in which Luffy realized he has his friends, who all cried out tears for his sake when the news came about Ace and Whitebeard's com- succumbing. succumbing to their wounds. Yeah, he's had a big wound. It looked like a donut. <laughs> it looked like this. <laughs> you big hole. They decided that they would do everything they could to help Luffy achieve his dream of becoming the king of the pirates. Doing this, the gang have then met up at the two-year mark hit, and they've been able to take down the Kuma robots without so much of a sweat. They made their mark on a capella go and had left before things got sticky. <laughs> Since then, they have been able to take down whoever stood in their way. Although these pirates differ from others, the Straw Hat crew are heroes to most of the Blue Sea itself. They had plenty of people to back them up if it came to it. So if someone or something was to bother that town, the Straw Hat crew were there to save them no matter what. The blood shall be lost and bones will be broken, but that has never stopped Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, Robin, Chopper, Frankie, and Brooke. Anyway, getting back to the story itself. The sun shone brightly and the wind was brisk. Sailing on the Thousand Sunny was a smooth journey and a calm one, considering there can be trouble at any given point. Luffy had just caught a 10-inch fish. That's fucking massive. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like... I, I say it's pretty... I feel like that's small. Uh, what do you mean? That's like five times average. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Called the Malawi Firefish. Its bright red radiant colors deserve the name fire. Luffy pulls it up out of the sea to observe his reward. They're, them using that makes me think that it's like when you get assigned something in high school, like your essay must include one example of alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> like it just makes no sense why they just like this is what they start with. Yeah. All right. Look, Usopp, I got a good one this time. Luffy calls out as Usopp. Sweat drops and laughs vacantly as Luffy reels in the fish and holds it with his arms as he starts fighting to be released. Meh, Luffy, you must put... Wait. <laughs> Man, Luffy, you must have put some good food bait on that to catch the Malawi? What the... F wait, how did you pronounce that? Malawi? Yeah. Usopp takes a clear look at it and decides it is a Malawi. Luffy looks confused at the fish and then at Usopp. The ma what? <laughs> Sanji just entered the bottom deck holding two glasses of martini ice. Yep. <laughs> On a metal plate for the lovely ladies that were sitting across bathing in the sun. One orange haired woman laid in the sunbed, which was designed with flowers that were all colors of the rainbow. Simp. <laughs> Sanji settles the glass down and smiles, and then he walks over to the black-haired female sitting in the arm of the deck reading a book. He hands her, her he, yep, she, he hands her her drink. <laughs> For the dazzling ladies I admire, S Sanji bows his head before, before holding the tray to his chest. As he begins to walk back to the kitchen, he overhears Usopp and Luffy talking. Oh. I said Malawi. It's one of the most... Instantly, Sanji runs over in the speed of light before Usopp was able to continue his sentence and grabs the fish friskily. I hate the, like, the, uh, whatever it's called, like, the punctuation, or not the punctuation, the, like, capitalization, missing on a bunch of these, like, <laughs> like, in the sentence before, Usopp's literally capitalized, and now it's not. <laughs> <laughs> they wrote oh. just like, Done. <laughs> Oh my god, don't you know what kind of fish this is? Sanji calls out as he holds the delicate fish within his hands. Erm, um, the Mahawi? Luffy exclaims incorrectly as he frowns at Sanji, confused. <laughs> this is one of the most rarest fishes there ever is in the all blue- That sen- 
So, <laughs> most most rarest, you could just say this rarest, and then I'm pretty sure the plural of fish is just fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm this is gonna bother me the entire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to have this be my last time I mention anything. <laughs> no, read it exactly like that. <laughs> This is one of the most rarest fishes there ever is in the all blue. <laughs> I'm amazed you have caught such an incredible animal, Sanji explains as he walks towards the edge of the deck. The the fish count as animals? Yeah, pretty sure. I think it's just like insects that don't count as animals. Okay. Well, I know there's like three categories of like what an animal could be. Whereas like a mammal, a, a reptile, or a bird. Isn't that right? I don't know. All right. I don't know. I'm not, I'm, not a bi- I'm not a biologist. Yeah, me either. <laughs> he peeks his head through the wooden pillars and reaches down to release the Malawi back into the ocean. A beautiful fish like this holds too much worth to be cooked by an unworthy chef like me. As he says this, he watches the firefish swim away, shining its go- uh, gorgeous scales from the beams of the sunlight to then disappear deeper in the blue sea. How funny would it have been if it just got fucking eaten? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit, have you seen those videos where they, like, release, like, a butterfly from, like, captivity? Because, like, they raise it, and they're like, oh, look how beautiful, and then a hawk comes by. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw someone releasing, uh, releasing, like, th- these little, like, goldfish, and they were like, they're like, be free, and then just a bigger fish came up and <laughs> swallowed it whole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Sanji, we could have eaten that. I'm hungry. Luffy moans, crossing his arm as Usopp giggles with Robin and Nami. The rest of the crew just smirks at the helpless captain. Don't worry, Luffy. We have other things that Sanji can cook up for us. After all, he can make delicious food out of completely anything. That's our cook for sure, Nami says as she smiles, stretching as she spoke with her. Wow, that's the nicest thing she's ever said. (laughs) Sanji's eyes change instantly to a pure red heart shape. He spins over, completely driven by Nami's words and beauty. Oh, Nami Swan! You're so sexy when you compliment my wor- Sanji midway in his sentence was reaching over to Nami as if to kiss her. A sharp punch to the head knocks him clean out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sanji falls to the floor, still love-ridden from her words. The gang look over to see what's going on, shaking their heads laughing. Who the fuck is talking? I'm guessing it's Nami. <laughs> Dirty pervert. It was only a compliment, not an invitation to kiss me, fool. As she set up an in... Irritation, she grunts and sighs, laying back down. She takes another sip up from her refreshing drink. I wish I had a refreshing drink. This is empty. <gasps> My hero! <laughs> <laughs> Fits of laughter fill the bottom deck. Robin stands up to walk over and join Nami on the deck chairs in her deep sea blue bathing suit. <gasps> For a second, I was like, why does Robin have a fucking bathing... She can't swim. So why... I was like, I guess it gets hot on the beach. <laughs> you can't just sit on the beach in full clothes. Woof, woof, woof. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> she carries her drink over and places on the wooden stool besides Nami's drink. Con... What is the fuck? Condensation. Is Condensation from the heat of the sun hits the cold drink, making the water droplets slip from the side of the drink and onto the wooden stain... Yeah, the wooden staining, it's... Onto the wood, staining its golden shade. Whew! Robin then lays down with one leg up and flips her shades down. She takes a deep breath and then exhales. Gee, Sanji, you sure can give us entertainment when you want. The days have been usually quiet, to say the least, though, Robin says, looking down at the cook, still laying on the floor unconscious. He suddenly lifts up again as if he was given instant aid for his injuries. Was that another comment from the beautiful Robin Shaw? <laughs> <laughs> All of them laugh again. Frankie laughs hard and then continues upgrading his weapons in, in his fist. He he screws the last bolt and then stands up. I didn't I didn't think Frankie was here. I thought it was just I thought like for what like trying to picture the sunny so like. Probably like right here, you got Usopp and and Luffy fishing, and then like probably up here, you had Nami and Robin, and then like Sanjay comes out. So where the fuck was Frankie? Wasn't he wasn't even mentioned? <laughs> Where, where's Zoro? Where's Brook? Where's Chopper? <laughs> <laughs> They'll come out eventually. I just like Frankie. All right, I finally finished my n- my new recent upgrade. 
Frankie lifts his arm up and holds it by the wrist and then to his other hand. Tea party! He then shouts and all of a sudden a cup of freshly made tea comes from the center of his hand. That's what he spent the day making? <laughs> Why wouldn't it make cola? Honestly, he just like me for real, for real, just doing it on stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> Usa comes over, intrigued, and picks up the tea. Is this a real cup of tea? He asks as he smells it. Yes, Usa, it's called the Frankie Tea Party. Whenever we're out in the cold weather, a good spice... Spicy cup of tea would do us to keep us warm. Frankie smiles as Usopp and starts at Usopp and presses his fingers to add sugar to the tea with milk too. <laughs> hey man, he keeps with fucking accessories. <laughs> That's quite useful, Frankie. Thanks anyway. Gonna try it, I am. Usopp, why did he turn into fucking Yoda? <laughs> Usopp takes a sip and tastes. Takes a sip and tastes it. His eyes drown with water. His lip quivers. Usopp bends down on one knee. It's... He begins. He raised the cup in the air like the Lion King. <laughs> his eyes sparkling. It's beautiful. It's deliciously good. The gang burst into another fit of giggles. Aha, Usopp, you're such an idiot sometimes, Zoro says from the top deck. Sanji looks up at him and watches Zoro smile. He then turned his attention to fixing his suit before glancing back to have his eyes connecting with Zoro's. Zoro sees this and looks away unfazed. Sanji darted his eyes away as well and takes a deep breath. A slight blush sat on his cheeks. Ooh. Idiot mossy-haired samurai. What's with me lately? Why does it feel like it's gotten less annoying to be around him? It must have been from the recent fight we were in with the crazy scientist and law when we swapped our bodies around. Did he think he was yeah. catching Nami Swan? Or better yet, why did he even help me? <coughs> At this point, Sanji's eyes had been fixated on one spot for so long he had zoned out asking himself questions he hadn't had the answers to. Why does my heart ache from feeling his presence from only a few steps away? I must hate him way more than I thought. Does this take place right before Dress Rose? <laughs> I guess so. Damn. Smash. One touch and I'll follow. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Same warning. I have boner... <laughs> Sorry, intrusive thoughts came out right there. Yeah, I could, I could see that. <laughs> How are you enjoying it? Uh, I mean, we're only one chapter in. We gotta, we gotta read more before I can decide how I really feel. All right, <laughs> you gotta introduce you to the porn. <laughs> if there is porn, <laughs> I don't know. Where the, yeah, where's Brooke? Chopper wasn't mentioned. I miss Chopper. <laughs> I'm sure we'll see them eventually in the story. Swords clashing, kicks were thrown, blood spilled, and defeated mer military was surrounding the Straw Hat crew. <laughs> gear second! Why isn't it second gear? <laughs> uh, I think in like the in in the sub he says like gear secundo or something like that, and that means like second gear. Second gear! Luffy cries out as his body seems up, in a flash of lightning, his target was taken down with no effort. He jumps high and takes down anyone in his way. Get him! He'll he'll be taken into custody for his crimes. One of the marines called out. <laughs> Your actions have consequences. <laughs> they all charge at once, doing their battle cries and their swords right up in the air. It won't be that easy. Luffy yells as he sweeps off them off their feet. Zoro comes in from behind. He unwheels his swords and then gets into his battle stance. <laughs> what is that to be specific? I feel like this uh, Zoro comes in from behind <laughs> sentence will be mentioned in a different manner later on in this story. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but it's like a co like straight up copied and pasted into it. <laughs> yeah, except the comes is spelt a little bit differently. <laughs> I'll take care of them, Luffy. Get to the Sunny and keep running, Zoro cries to the gang. Sanji joins Zoro from the side. He takes a drag of his cigarette and he lightly blows out the smoke. I love how he says he'll give him a hand when he fight he fights with his foot. <laughs> Just saying, I thought it was funny. I'll give you a hand. Sanji jumps in front of Luffy and fires and uh, yep and fires his strong kicks at the group of sword wheeling marines as they are also taken down. Zoro gets annoyed. He aims his sword towards the gun. 
I don't need any help, especially if it's from you. I can handle this on my own. Marine comes from behind Zora as if to cut him down. Instantly, Sanji blows him away with his main course kick. He gives Zora a serious look. That was close. <laughs> he thought to himself and looks towards Zoro. Zoro toots, but yep. He toots and looks towards his main target. I think working together to take the rest of these annoying marines down will be a piece of strawberry cake. <laughs> he had to specify which, okay. <laughs> Sanji smirks as he roundhouses kick another marine from behind. He flies into a group of them and knocks them down like dominoes. Nice. I love dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> Zoro shakes his head and carries on slashing the ones surrounding him. Fine. If you are captured, I won't help. Zoro says, pointing the tip of his sword towards Sanji as they both begin running towards the sunny. Sanji follows next to him with his head stooped low. Zoro's words had played on Sanji's mind, putting him in a funk of some sort. Unconsciously, Sanji opened his mouth and murmured to himself, you wouldn't? Sanji says silently. Somewhere in his heart, a sharp prick is felt. He looks down at the ground, upset by the words. He's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's putting his fingers together. He's like, you, you wouldn't come help me. He's like, he's like, but, but, but why? Please, Senpai. <laughs> he looks down at the ground, upset by the words Zoro said. Does he really not have any faith in my skills, or is he just being a dick? Sanji shakes his head angrily, focusing on running quicker and pretends to not be bothered by this remark. But I guess old feelings die hard. Oh, so you're saying I'm not strong enough to take care of myself, you stupid swordsman. Sanji acts as he normally does. Zoro laughs deeply, unfazed by his words. Nah, you're alright, I guess. Sanji's eyes widen as he feels his face burn. The unexpected compliment gave birth to a whole new world of emotions even Sanji couldn't understand. For the first time, Sanji felt speechless. Sanji's heart kept skipping beats. His cheeks were flushed pure red. Sanji wiped his sweat-ridden forehead and up the pace, running past Zoro and jumping onto the deck of the sunny. He looks back at Zoro, who is getting ready to get on. Oh, a compliment? Sanji says, turning his body towards him. That's very rare coming from you. Panting his words, Zoro gets on board and they set sail before any marines could overrun them. Luffy, Robin, Nami, Chopper, Usopp, Brooke, and Frankie had already made it to the ship. Yay! <laughs> they couldn't have just said the whole crew made it to the ship. They had to specify every single one of them. Damn. <laughs> the marines are getting stronger these days, aren't they? I love how you just didn't say anything to make my <laughs> comment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we only came for more fuel for the coupe de burst. Now they're everywhere, Frankie says as Robin gasps for air while sitting down on the floor. Yeah, usually they're no problem, but somehow they've gotten a bit harder to get rid of. Is it because of our bounties changing? I somehow thought that that was because of our booties changing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Robin adds as she looks at the island they just came from. She looks closer and notices a battle marine ship coming their way from around the corner. We need to go now, Robin calls out as she notifies the group getting up and ready running to prepare for battle. The group set off to sea and try quickening their pace, but the marines are catching up. Frankie, use your coupe de burst! Chopper called out. Uh, it's Chopper! Yeah! He has one line! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. As everyone holds on to something they could find to keep them from flying off the ship from the sheer force. You could just go inside the boat. They don't have to chill outside. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I know what's cool about the inside, it's got doors, so you can close it, so you don't just fucking fly off the ship. I mean, yeah, but, uh, like, you'd still get, like, flung to the wall. Yeah, but, like, it's easier to hold on to something, and I fear that you're gonna be drowning if you're inside. <laughs> they have, like, tables and everything in there, don't they? How did those not get, like, messed up when they're- They're probably nailed into the floor, to be honest. I guess so. Do they have the chairs nailed in, too? I think they're, like, like the, like, you know how, like, cafeteria, like- like, stools oh yeah, yeah like the benches that's yeah. probably what they is i don't know we'll have to look for the next episode that <laughs> yeah. and see what it is yeah oh shit we're oh yeah i got distracted by chopper calling out <laughs> and then us being debating the the ethics of having this on the on the ship <laughs> yeah we're talking about this in the middle of a zosan fucking, <laughs> fucking book you know i've discussed weirder things <laughs> i suppose so Thanks to be heard as cannonballs head their way towards the ship. All right, hold on. Frankie holds up. 
holds onto the, the wheel. He turns it and tightly places his fleet on top of the deck. Mm-hmm. Coop de burst! The sunny and then gathers all of his power into one shot. The marines are about to land their cannonballs onto the ship. Fire! Don't let them escape! <laughs> the leader calls out, rows and rows of cannonballs aim for the sunny. Why don't they capitalize the boat? They haven't capitalized like anything. <laughs> Without realizing it, the ship had was sent flying so far it sent the gang yep, the gang far into the distance that's too fast to keep up with. <laughs> I hurt my brain a little bit. <laughs> I could tell you were you, know, you were struggling to process that one. Yeah, the entire Straw Hat crew screen hanging on for dear life. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh shit! It's like the R two D two. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> close enough. <laughs> the Marines watch from a distance and grunt in defeat. Damn it! The leader cries out as he sits down and rubs his head. He grabs the snail phone, <laughs> <laughs> the transponder snail, and heads to the the headquarters. No, and what's headquarters know about their escape? There we go. Yes, we shall notify you about where they land, but until then, we shall scout the area for other pirates from from the worst generation. Yes, I know. I'll remind them about this. It's, it's like, like he just gave like a serious report and they're like, oh, by the way, can you just remind the crew to uh, make sure they flush when they go out there? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah make, make sure they're cleaning the poop deck. Like. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll remind them about that. <laughs> the leader looks at, to where the Straw Hat's crew escaped. Flying off into the sky seemed to last forever until they scraped the sea line and landed into the water with a sheer s- salt. Fuck. With a sheer halt. Everyone goes flying across the deck, landing Frankly, at the wheel. <laughs> Frankie? Landing Frankie at the wheel? <laughs> Colliding along t- into a pile as they groan. <laughs> it's just like a dog pile. It's just like, oh my god, my limbs hurt. <laughs> oh. I couldn't imagine. You would get blown and you're like holding on for dear life. You're going a thousand miles an hour, probably. And then you crash in a bunch of people. Like, it's automatic stop. So you're flying forward at that speed as well. And then you get hit by like eight other people. <laughs> Yeah, Chopper's dead. Yeah. He's at the bottom of the dog pile. He yeah, he's dead. like, I'm suffocating, help. <laughs> Alright. Damn, my head is killing me. Is everyone okay? Usopp asks, rubbing his head in pain from the sharp land. Nami could stand up barely. Sanji and Zoro... There we go. No capitalization. Sanji and Zoro pull themselves out of the pile and get up to see where they were. Yes, I guess we are. Where are we now? Nami ponders, coming to the conclusion that the guys may be lost. She looks over the deck and tries to find an island. She notices the sky has gone less blue, and that a gray cloud started hovering towards them. Oh no, they're going back to Thriller Bark. No! Not they're, again! They're gonna find Brooke yet again. He's like, oh, I was wondering where you guys landed up. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> this doesn't seem right. It was just sunny. <laughs> sunny. Sunny! Sunny! <laughs> Why is it all dark and foggy over there? Sanji asks. He stands beside Nami, who's trying to look down. By the time the crew realized, it's gone too foggy to even see the water below. Zoro walks into the ship towards his workout room unnoticed. Damn. <laughs> he, he, just, he just said, damn, that sounds like a personal problem. I'm going to go hit the gym. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is the new world. The weather's crazy. You can't be like, oh, that's weird. It was just, it was just sunny. D- damn, that's crazy. They've- it's storming? Whoa. Yeah. Like, the first time they get from Fishman Island onto, like, the surface in the New World, they get hit with ten different weather effects in ten minutes. <laughs> and yeah. you're gonna tell me they're shocked that it went from sunny to foggy? There's literally an island that is, like, just covered in lightning, and they're like, Oh, the sky's looking gray. That's weird. <laughs> the group realized that they may have flown too far off and landed in some dead wasteland. Yay. They all look around to see if anything stood out beyond the mist. Chopper climbs to the highest place to find something from a bird's eye view. Oh, yeah, send the smallest person to get the best look. Yeah. He probably can't even... If he gets up there, he's like, Hey, Chopper, what do you see? Like, my hat can't even go over this. Yeah, he's just, like, looking at the wood. Like, he's like, he's, yeah, like, he's, he's like, like, I can't see over yeah, this. Yeah, like, he puts the binoculars, and he puts that, like, oh. <laughs> so just zooming into the wood. Yeah, he's like, all I see is wood. Oh, wait. <laughs> all right. He spots something green just off in the distance. Guys, I think I found something. Chopper yells. Chopper sounds like. I don't know. 
Chopper yells down as Sanji climbs up after him. Seeing what Chopper saw, Sanji's stomach turned. I don't have a good feeling about this. Or maybe I'm just hungry, Sanji pondered. <laughs> that sounds like a Luffy line. I don't have a good feeling about this, or I might just be hungry. <laughs> if, if they replaced that with Luffy, I would say that was canon. <laughs> True. This feels way too familiar. Like when you guys came across me on my abandoned ship, Brooke says as he laughs. He strums his bone like guitar. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> he sings while running and grinding his knees across the floor in a rock-like motion. Usopp and Chopper's sweat drops. Haha, <laughs> you were really scary too, <laughs> Chopper says. <laughs> Climbing down with Sanji, he scouted the ship. Does anyone need any medical attention? All of the gang shake their heads. They stand up to take a look around. Luffy stands near the rear of the ship. I can't see much. It's too blurry. Sanji walks towards the kitchen and nods. I guess we won't be able to fish for food tonight. Anyone want to fry up? Asks Sanji as Lyft's eyes instantly shine from the words resembling food. Lyft's eyes? I'm pretty sure it's Luffy's eyes. Yeah. It's Lyft's eyes? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Luffy's eyes. Hell yeah! Brooke sings again. Chopper and the rest follow Sanji inside. 15 oh, minutes later. Foggy. Just because it's foggy doesn't mean you can't fish. <laughs> you just cast it and then you wait for it to tug. That's how fishing works. I don't know. I mean, if they have, like, bobbers or something, maybe they, they like, can't see the bobbers, but... Uh, no, that's probably it. Yeah. 15 minutes later. Hey, has anyone seen Zoro? Frankie asks as he finished the rest of his food while pointing at the untouched plate in front. No one noted. They just put the plate there. And he's like, he'll find it. <laughs> yeah, he's lost already. Yeah. He went to the gym and he lost himself in the sunny. Yeah. <laughs> he got lost on the way to the gym and now he's at the all blue. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, what the fuck did I get here? <laughs> My favorite ones is uh, <laughs> when I see memes about Zoro getting lost. Uh, that he ends up in another anime. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the one where it's like. It's like if Zora was the protagonist and just he was just left off to like run around, he would just find the One Piece. <laughs> like like instead of finding like uh like Log Town or like Nami's area or anything like that, he just finds the One Piece instantly. <laughs> he's like he's like where the hell am I? <laughs> Thinking about it, we haven't seen much of him lately. Did he even come here for food? Nami adds while she rests her face on her palm. Sanji dries up his hands as he washes the dishes and settles the cloth down. He walks over to Frankie, picks up Zoro's plate of food, and walks towards the exit of the kitchen. He's, he will probably be training at the top. I'll take the food to him. Sanji concludes as he leaves and climbs up to the room Zoro may be in. Some grunting could be heard as the sounds of the clacking metal grew louder the closer he got to the door. He's doing porn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shit, I lost my, my thing from saying that. Uh, the sound made Sanji blush. Oh, the sound made Sanji blush ever so slightly. Arriving at the door, Sanji raises his hand to knock, then hesitates. Out of fear. <laughs> what? 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 Huh? Huh? What does that say? Wait, wait. But after a moment, Sanji takes a drag of his... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, they meant cigarette. Why they put the word fag? Fag's another word for cigarette. Yeah, well, I guess I guess it's canon that if he would be from Europe. Yeah. But I don't know why they put fag. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean that's that's weird word choice. Sure. No wonder you're like, huh? Huh? This, this person's trying to like show that they like typed up synonyms for all these words <laughs> to make sure that it didn't sound repetitive. Yeah, and then knocks before opening the door. Ahem, Zora, are you in here? No shit! Did you not hear the metal? <laughs> yeah, the metal and the... <laughs> yeah, the... 1,100... <laughs> Sanji asks as he didn't get a response. While knocking again before fully entering, Sanji witnessed Zora lifting his heavy weights. Zora didn't seem to look, but nods his head in approval at Sanji's presence. Sanji walks over to the plate... to place the plate upon the table next to him. Then sets back to leave, but is held at the door by a magical force. <laughs> Ooh, magical force. As in, like, he didn't have the urge to leave, or is there magic going on here? 
Unable to move by the beauty that stood before him, the spectacle of Zoro's slightly damp skin, which highlighted his toned muscles, was pictured as pure strength. Holy shit. He, he was looking at his titties too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a moment of silence, apart from the clicking of the weights. Sanji looked closer to see the shine of Zoro's popping veins in the light. The individual veins that shone through the skin, the way his arms looked like they were to protect anything within them. Wait, why the hell am I thinking this way? Sanji blushes harder than ever, and he thinks, and then thinks to start a conversation to relieve the awkward silence. Sanji turns himself away and sat at the chair beside the door. Oh, oh your food's here that I made. Eat it while it's still warm, please. It should be filling, and it will give you energy for your next encounter if we, if we wait. For our next encounter, if we least don't expect it. Sanji finishes. <laughs> Looking away and smoking his fag. <laughs> the word choices. <laughs> Zoro looks up towards Sanji and then the plate. Zoro drops his weight with a thud. The it's, sound it's, <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> yeah. The sound of Zoro moving himself to grab the plate makes Sanji's body jump. The sweat dripping off Zoro's back and onto his trousers made Sanji's heart race. Sanji blushes once again while smoking on his cigarette. They didn't Thank say God. they didn't say it that time. Yippee. <laughs> he lit up earlier before walking in. The smoke covered the redness in his face as his legs began to tremble slightly. Thanks, Zoro says as he grabs the plate and scoffs the food down. I just imagine he's like, Thanks. <laughs> he fucking eats it all. That wouldn't be the first fan fiction that I've read that was like they were like, hey, I made this. And he's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Just, like, like, devours it. And he's like, like, all right, done. It's like that one scene where Luffy's in Alabasta, and they're like, here, Luffy, we made you food. And it's just, like, he, like, instantly eats all of it. Oh, and they yeah, go, when he wakes, so fast. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he wakes up, and he's like, oh, yeah, we brought you some food. He's like, thank you so much. <laughs> and just instantly eats it all. The car is empty. But or, 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 like, the, the one where they're at the dinner table, and he, like, sucks all the food in, and he, and, like, choppers in his mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, emergency food. <laughs> That's what Chopper is. I, remember, I, I see so many TikToks and Instagram reels of, like, the Straw Hat crew when times get tough and it shows a picture of Chopper and they put a sam like a piece of bread on top of his head to make a sandwich out of him. <laughs> yeah. oh. Sanji can feel his heart bash against his ribs. The room began to feel hotter by the minute. To cover the fact that Sanji was lost in thoughts, he burst into a light fit of giggles at the swordsman. Don't eat too quick or you'll choke. But ma make sure you drink something, yeah? Sanji advised. Finish oh, I can make a choke on something else if you catch my choke. Hey, yo. <laughs> Finished with his food, Zoro stands up and brings his plate towards Sanji. The heat at that point is unbearable. Sanji, uh, er, sorry, Zoro walked his toned body towards the vulnerable cook, hands him the plate, then smiles for a moment. Ooh. Thank you. It was really nice. I feel more stronger when you cook good food like this. Zoro praises as he walks back over to his weights. Sanji was taken aback by this, but stood up swiftly and hesitantly walks out with a nod, closing the door with his back to it. His face is pure red from shock and happiness. His hands shake terribly, and his body felt hotter than ever to the point where he rips the buttons off his top to cool down. What the hell was that? Sanji yells in his mind. He falls to his ass and then places his hand on his face to cover his sweat dripping off of it. Damn it! He drops the plate and punches the floor. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is pretty cool, I guess. Is that a rifle? <laughs> Why do they have guns? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have guns! And he's smoking a cigar. Oh, yes. The dude who fights with swords and the dude who fights with his feet are using an AK-47 <laughs> and a freaking M16. Like uh, Also, like, with the, the lighting, it, this looks like smoker. Because it, like, it looks like white instead of green. Yeah, the cigar. Yeah. Well, I guess on the OBS, it captures it green, but, like, on the screen that I'm looking at it right now, it, this shit looks so gray. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Saving the life of him. Hot. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, you finished. So yeah. I gotta... <clears throat> nice one. The night was dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. Yeah, me too. The waves creep steadily towards the ship, while its unholy grip cradled the sunny. 
The night sky was trending with stars, and the sea looked dozy. Yep, dozy as they rested in the midnight glow. The Straw Hat crew were all asleep after a night of drinking. Apart, apart for one guy, he lit his cigarette and took a drag, blowing it out and looked like clouds slowly drifting away from his face. Sitting at the high point of the ship, he looked. He sat down, looking up. The sky entranced him in a way that he forgot about his surroundings until a thought popped in his mind. I guess while we're out, we're wait. I guess while they are out of it, I shall let them know that when we get to an island, I don't think I'll be able to sleep. It was Sanji who was on guard watch. He looks down and takes another drag of a cigarette, taking in its nicotine. Leaning back on the cold woods, Sophie. Yep, wait. I'm guessing it's supposed to say soft. Soft footsteps were heard, making Sanji lift his head to peer over the side. They were slowly coming closer to the main deck. So then he looked down to see who it is. Oh, it's just Usopp. <laughs> <laughs> He's so disappointed. Yeah. It's like, damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Why does it have to be him? Stupid long nose. <laughs> yeah. Why couldn't it be Dora? <laughs> Sonji said to himself as Usopp looked up with a cheery but tired smile and then walked towards the ladders to climb up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Sanji. He says while making his way up to the top. I heard you were on watch while the guys were asleep. How come you didn't join us earlier? Usopp asked. Sanji smirked at the comment as Zoro's face slid its way into Sanji's thoughts. He coughed at first and placed a cigarette into his mouth. Well, yeah, well, it's a calm, it's calm tonight considering the fog isn't lifted at all. All the way yet. I'm surprised I can see the stars considering this fog is thick tonight. So... That's why I thought coming here would help me see the stars, at least. It's soothing. Sanji says while staring off into the sky, his eyes gleaming. <laughs> the crew was barely able to find an island that they can anchor and search for food for their ship. As supplies began to run out, they hoped that if the weather would change, so they, yep, yeah, the weather would change so that Nami could navigate to one. But alas, plans have changed into a night of fun and drinking. I suppose I should pass the time by talking to you about things I've noticed and had been meaning to ask you for a while now, Usopp says as he leaned back on the wooden wall. He looks at like Sanji. Sanji looks back at Usopp. <laughs> they looked at each other is what the author's trying to say. And he looks at me. <laughs> and, and I, I look, look at him. him. And he looks at me. And I look at him. <laughs> uh, and what would that be? Sanji frowns. He takes a long drag. I hate how they use drag. Why don't they just say he like, smokes his cigarette? <laughs> he takes a long drag on his cigarette. Is is there something going on between you and Zoro? Usopp asks. In an instant, Sanji coughs up all the smoke and punches his chest to get the rest out. Yeah, he just like, <laughs> he just went, are you gay? <laughs> bro, bro. I won't tell, I Bro, promise. you trying to tap that? Because I am. <laughs> What, 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 why would you want to know? Sanji exclaims as Usopp turns his concern into a smile. From your reaction, there must be something going on between you two. Come on, spill the beans. Is it another fight or something? Usopp commands. Sanji gives Usopp a defeated look and lowers his head into the palms of his hand. Zoro, Sanji begins then sighs. Zoro isn't the one that's the problem, Usopp. The problem is me, Sanji admits. It's me. <laughs> Um, the problem is he. <laughs> <laughs> his face flushes red again. The heat from his blushed cheeks burned his hands. Hang on, wait a minute. Usopp starts. Sanji looks up at him, then looks away. <laughs> <laughs> so bashful. <laughs> He's shy and timid and petite and yep. small. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Zoro? Or Usopp innocently asked. Sanji went wide-eyed and had become flustered. I don't know. I... Sanji says embarrassed with his heart racing. Every time he's near me or even so much as looks at me, my heart hurts like whenever he compliments me, I feel stupidly happy. We had always fought over the most ridiculous of things, so I've never really expected him to be. Sanji paused. Nice. Usopp finishes. Usopp wasn't the type of person you could go to for relationship issues, but this was his companion. I I think so. I felt this way. Since that day where we fought together against that crazy scientist. Where we ran away he, from this he purple has a goo. Name. 
<laughs> well, before that occurred, I had tripped over some stupid rock, and he he caught me. Obviously, at that time, I was in Nami Swan's body, so I couldn't understand who Zoro was catching. But my heart skipped so many beats that day, and I've never asked myself why. And I think Sanji blushes hard and covers his face. Realization kicked in for Sanji. It was only then when Sanji had come to grips with himself. Usopp listened intently. I think I like... A sudden sound cut Sanji off, so suddenly he jumped out of his skin along with Usopp. <laughs> Creak. A door opens slowly with a small creak. They both look over the side and see Zoro walk into the front of the ship and leans over the deck. He rubs his head and looks to the distance. Sanji throws himself off the ship. <laughs> Sanji throws himself behind the cover. I can see it. He's a <laughs> he just he just looks over at him. He's like, "Well, I had a good life," and yeah. then just leaves. Well, I'm just picturing like a picture of the sunny, and then him at the very top is like a stick figure squeak. <laughs> uh, well, speak of the damn devil, Sanji whispered angrily as anxiety kicked in. Usam nudges and then unsettled Sanji. Go on and talk to him, he says while looking at him. Sanji looks in disbelief. Are you serious? He probably won't. Won't want to talk to me. Sanji looks away. Usopp grabs Sanji's shoulder and comfort. I thought that was about to be like he grabs his shoulder and throws him over. <laughs> Off you go. Yeah. Hey Zoro, catch. <laughs> <laughs> Usopp grabs Sanji's shoulder and comforts him with a sigh. I don't know how he feels, and I'm oh shit. <laughs> I was finally mastering an Usopp, and then it was a Sanji line. <laughs> I don't know how he feels, and I'm scared to know. Come on. You don't want to... It might make you feel better, you know? Usopp says, smiling friendly as he punches him in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Sanji looks at him and sighs, standing up and climbing down the ladder. He gets down to the bottom and begins walking towards the swordsman who had not noticed him yet. Man. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you'll notice since he only has one eye. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, who the fuck is he? I can't see <laughs> Yeah, if you, if, which side is it? The left eye? Mm, you're asking a detail that I just don't know. Wow, okay. I think it's the left eye. Yeah, like you come on this side and you're like, boo! <laughs> <laughs> Zoro then hears footsteps and turns his head. He's surprised to see Sanji walking to him. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be keeping watch? He asks. Well, Usopp just happened to wake up and take my place for a bit. A bit anyway I just it was just it was then wait yeah it was then when Sanji froze up completely his speech becoming incomprehensible like my words <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to I I thought Sanji stutters as he finds a way to create a conversation what <laughs> Zoro interrupts as he gives Sanji a harsh look he leans backwards onto the wooden railing. Sanji looks, saw this, and shuddered at his heart aching. I <laughs> has a heart attack. <laughs> Sanji takes a deep breath. Just came over here to talk to you, I guess. Sanji replies, rubbing his head softly, staring at the wooden floor below. He takes a breath and looks up. Zoro frowns at him, his eyes connecting to Sanji's. Zora doesn't have eyes. He has eye. <laughs> Singular. <laughs> About what? He asked bluntly. Sanji's hands begin to tremble as his chest tightened. I think he's having a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> Fly lines. <laughs> well, I... All of a sudden, a huge splash of the sea stopped Sanji mid-sentence. A large tentacle- YES! TENTACLES! YES! TENTACLES! <laughs> a, a large tentacle comes out from the thick mist and grabs Zoro by the waist, pulling him off the ship and into the sea. Sanji froze for a minute before realizing what had just occurred. WHAT THE FUCK?! <laughs> <laughs> I would say the same thing. What happened? Usopp shouts, sliding his hands down the ladders. He runs towards Sanji. The door opens and the crew came out. What was that sound? Nami calls out. Sanji has no words to say other than, Zoro has been taken down! He didn't have his weapons! Sanji cried out helplessly. As the crew began planning on using their submarine, Sanji stood straight on the railing and dives into the sea first before any of them had the chance. Doesn't, 
Doesn't Zoro know how to use no sword style? <laughs> yeah, and he also knows how to use four sword style where he whips out it out of his ass. And... <laughs> <laughs> Not that image again. <laughs> Sanji! A few of the crew call out as Sanji dives into the deep dark. Yo, is this Minecraft? The deep dark? <laughs> into the deep dark and murky water. They all run to the side and look over. They couldn't see anything apart from a pure black pit of darkness. We need to get our shark submarine and dive down to give Sanji assistance, Frankie says as he jumps into the submarine, and deploys it along Usopp, Nami, and Robin. They hastily go in the sea and sail down. We can't see them! Turn on the lights! Robin says as Usopp flicks the lights on so, sh so shine the way in the water. There's no sign of them anywhere around. Damn it, Usopp says as Frankie sinks the submarine deeper into the murky water. The sea in this state does absolutely nothing to benefit us finding them. Usopp finishes as he takes a deep breath to calm down. 2023 Titanic incident. <laughs> Somewhere within the sea. <laughs> I was drinking water! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, where is he? Sanji thinks to himself, angrily, as he swims deeper. Soon, he finds the culprit. It's a giant octopus with Zoro in his tight clutches. Zoro is thrashing around and trying to get free. Without his swords, he can't do much but struggle to he... keep his breath in <clears throat> while trying to slip out of the grasp. He knows no sword style, where he just punches people. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, Sanji moans as he gets closer to Zoro. At least they got it accurate, you know. He, he would just say mmm in water. Yeah. He spins in the water and sets his leg on fire like charcoal. Okay, and now he sets his leg on fire in the water. Uh, didn't he do that on Fishman Island? Probably. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck that works. There's a lot of things that don't make sense in one piece. You're really gonna critique? Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. It's like that scene in Spongebob where they start that campfire underwater. <laughs> it's like, it's like, how the hell did we do that? <laughs> It is like that. <laughs> he raises his knee to get ready to kick. Using every ounce of strength Sanji had, he swam to the creature's head and lands a kick to it with as much force as he could. The octopus froze at first, but then, is, but then is then knocked out, but still holding onto Zoro. So wait, so like I, so for example, you're the oct. Well, I guess I'm the octopus, right? You punch me. Pow. <laughs> it's still holding. Yeah, it just <laughs> it's like it's like you know when like when dads like fall asleep like in in the chair while watching like the game or something and still are holding their beer. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't think that's where you were going with it because I know sometimes like a dad will fall asleep on the couch like watching the game and then you'll go over to turn it off and he just automatically wakes up and is like I was watching that. Yeah. <laughs> It's like those. It's like those scenes where you're like, you're like, quick, don't look behind you, but someone's watching us, and and then you turn around, and they're just like staring at you. Yeah. <laughs> it is like that. <laughs> all, right, all right. Where the? F did you even finish reading this? Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. My I bad. <laughs> Zoro. <laughs> uh, uh, Saji cries in his side's head. He swims down and grabs a hold of the tentacle Zoro's wrapped up in and yanks it with as much force as possible. It wasn't until he finally let go and let Zoro swim back towards the surface. Sanji began swimming behind Zoro. The octopus sinks in into the darkness with its tentacles sprawled. It was then that Sanji was hit with great force from a sinking tentacle, making him lose his breath. Just fuck it, this ends with him drowning. <laughs> and the rest of it is Zoro, Zoro mourning his death. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like... R.I.P. and then it's just like 20 chapters of <laughs> of like funeral and eulogy <laughs> services <laughs> <laughs> oh that'd be good Zoro notices Sanji's presence had gone and, and looks back his eyes widen just the eye he doesn't have two eyes well I guess technically well, he doesn't open it and it's like, yeah I mean he has two eyes just... yeah but it's like cut yeah does he ever open it and you just see like it's just white yeah, he opens it, and it's uh, the Sharingan from Naruto. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two lights can be seen in the distance. It was Nami, Robin, and Usopp in the shark submarine. Zoro swims back and sees Sanji's lifeless body. Fluttered... Oh yeah, flustered Zoro rushes to grab Sanji, then pulls him towards the submarine, getting in the air chamber before pulling the door, slamming it shut. They have an air chamber in there? I guess so. Isn't the point of a submarine not to leave it... <laughs> you're above the surface anyway so in the know, water seeping out of the room Zoro gasps for air the chamber door slides open are you two okay? Robin asks while 
walking towards Zoro while he lays... Robin-esque, and it's an exclamation point. <laughs> he lays Zoro, Sanji's body on the floor worriedly. Zoro coughs up a bit before beginning CPR. They're gonna kiss! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Indirect kiss. Let's go, let's go. Mm. Sorry, CPR. Robin was shocked by his worried the extent of Sanji's injuries. Nami comes comes towards Robin and sits down. What happened there? Nami asked furiously as she at, was worried about Sanji. When the fuck is she ever worried about Sanji? I know, right? Zoro presses his hands on Sanji's chest. A large sea creature took me down to the bottom of the sea and tried to drown me. Zoro pushes another gust of air into Sanji's- THEY ARE KISSING! <laughs> Let's go! YES! <laughs> w. W. Yeah, w. W. <laughs> oh, shit, I lost- I put, Yeah, no, until he came back, continued to do presses on his chest. Sanji came along and knocked the bastard out clean. After that, he got me free, so we swam, but he disappeared up until I found him floating in the sea. It wasn't long after Sanji began coughing up all the water he breathed in. His eyes shot open. Sanji! <laughs> Robin and Nami called out as they both came forward towards him. Sanji leaned leaned towards his side and vomited up water. It's like fucking seaweed and like plankton and shit. <laughs> Doro set Sanji up to cough more water out of his lung, patting his back as Sanji began to be able to breathe properly again. Are you okay? Nami asked while she moved his hair out of his face. It's what strands sticking to his skin. Yeah, I, I think so. Sanji coughed again, breathing in wheezily harshly, and wheezing harshly, and looked towards Zoro. His uh, his soft eyes looked back. You, Zoro, you're okay? Sanji blurted it out until he scrambles close to him, checking his body for no marks. I I thought it was just gonna end there. Just close check in his body. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Zoro sm smiles and ruffles his hair while resting his head on Sanji's. This took Sanji aback. It did me too. I guess it takes a near death experience to fall in love. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all thanks to you. But let's worry about you more. Zoro says softly while looking into Sanji's eyes. Sanji <laughs> blushes uncontrollably and shifted himself away, realizing what he was doing. We, uh, er, ahem, we need to be heading back to the Thousand Sunny, don't we? Sanji says, changing the subject. Frankie nods in response and begins... When, when the fuck did Frankie get... The only, how many people can fit in the submarine here? Fra Frankie was in the submarine the entire time. I think only four people can fit in here, so... <laughs> you know what, they're just cramped in. Yeah. It's okay. They're like on top of each other. <laughs> yeah. Frankie nods in response and begins driving towards the surface. Nami looks to Sanji, then Robin. Sanji, are you sure you're all right? Do you need Chopper to look you over? Nami proposes as she wor worries for Sanji, seeing his wobbly state. His face had lost its color. Yes, yeah, yes, I might have a c c Sanji feels his vision go faded while his back felt like it was on fire. Clutching to his head, Zoro places his hand upon Sanji's shoulder. Is your head okay? Zoro asks while looking at the cook. San Sanji falls into Zoro's arms as his body fell limp once again. Everyone looks at each other. We need to go back to the ship now, Zoro shouts. Alright. How you feeling? Sanji's dead. <laughs> Shanks is fucking Robin. Oh no, not again! So, what'd you think? Did you enjoy it? I think I think it's pretty good. I think, uh, you know, would have been a lot better, but also worse. With, you know, without all the typos. <laughs> It wasn't that bad of typos. We I've read worse with worse typos, you know. Yeah, I just think the part where they say lifts instead of Luffy is uh, is a little bit <laughs> of a rough one. That is kind of funny. And it looks like they. I bet they typed it all on a phone. Yeah, they probably did. You can. Yeah, which I mean, I don't doubt that. Uh, that shit happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I can't wait to read more of this at some point. Yeah, how many chapters is it? Um, I guess a twenty. Holy, we only got through three. Listen, I've read books with a hundred before, alright? Yeah, and I know you have a problem. Shut up. I don't have a problem. Shut up. Don't have to fucking out me. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I had to out you for people to know you had a problem. Shut up. I have a whole book club dedicated to Wattpad. Yes, you do. Yep. 
Well, if you guys would not want to wait for us to read this, uh, I'll have the, the book link down below. That way maybe you can read it with your friends. And definitely support the author. Because I said so. Yep. Yep. Can't wait to read more Zosun at some point. This is going to be fucking fire. <laughs> yep. I bet he's going to, like, Chopper's going to look him over. He's going to be like, mm, you're dying. <laughs> mm, you have cancer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That that octopus gave you cancer. <laughs> it's like what kind? All of them. <laughs> yeah, it turns out you got a rare cancer that apparently was eradicated. It just it was in the octopus. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, unlucky. On, on that note, you have three months left to live. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be hosting your funeral. Mm -hmm. um, it won't be good. <laughs> uh, on that note, uh, did you want purple or blue flowers at your funeral? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, you might want to start writing your will. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Zoro while you can. Yeah, that's that's number one on the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, can't wait to read more of this at some point. It's gonna be cool. Yep. Yeah. All right. You, did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you saying that because I made you? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix. This is Cameron, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.